Did you know that when the Apostle Paul, our earliest debatable Christian writer, speaks of the good news by which humans are being saved, he is not referring to stories about Yeshua or Jesus, as people know him as, or sayings of Jesus. He's referring to what he calls the Kriyagma, which is the proclamation of what God had done through the death and resurrection of Jesus. So the first meaning of gospel is not what Jesus said and did, but what God had done through the death and resurrection of Jesus or Yeshua. Paul is not talking about a narrative written about Jesus when he says in the book of Galatians, I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another gospel, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. What Paul is talking about here is the good news concerning the Messiah. It's not a biography of Jesus or Yeshua that he's talking about when he states in Galatians 1, for I would have you know, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not man's gospel. For I did not receive it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For Paul, the focus of the good news is what God did through the death and resurrection of Jesus to save humans. The good news here is an oral proclamation. Once gospels start being written, the word now begins to refer to a written composition concerning what Jesus said and did in the power of God. The ministry of Jesus now becomes good news and eventually even the birth and infancy of Jesus comes to be included as well. Now everything concerning Jesus falls under the rubric of the good news a fundamental shift in conception. Now we have the good news according to Mark, the good news according to Matthew, the good news according to Luke and John. For most people today, the earlier meaning of the word gospel has simply been lost. My name is Robert Akweteyama, and I invite you to join me in my expedition to the New Testament where I look at the text from the eyes of the writers. If you were not aware of what I just said about the Gospels, then you may want to consider participating on this voyage. If you already did, we still welcome you to join and share your thoughts. Welcome to the expedition to the New Testament with Akwete Amar.